Greetings friends. Watch Refrigeration News for Sunday, October 18, 2020 on our channel. Let's go. First news today. GCCA South Africa establishes Food Safety and Compliance Committee. Members of the Global Cold Chain Alliance, GCCA, South African have pledged their time and commitment to serve on the newly created GCCA Food Safety and Compliance Committee. This committee was created so members could discuss the laws and regulations impacting cold chain logistics and refrigerated storage industry in South Africa and collectively build stronger relationships between industry and related government agencies. The seven committee members beginning their one-year term on August 1, 2020 are Larna Jo Damas, Compliance Manager, CCS Logistics Verona Ramsuk, Group Food Safety Manager, Etlin International Pindi Lane Shiba, Shek Executive, Vector Logistics. Colin Barker, Compliance Manager, Table Bay Cold Storage. Alti Van Zale, Compliance Manager, Cross Birth Cold Stores. Philippa Charlesworth, Admin Manager, Reefer Cold Storage. Read more the news on our website today. Second news today. Carrier Commercial Refrigeration extends turnkey equipment and service agreement with Rema. Leading Norwegian discount supermarket chain Rema, part of family-owned Wright & Retail Group, has signed a two-year contract extension with Carrier Commercial Refrigeration to continue supplying turnkey commercial refrigeration equipment, installation and service. The latest contract, which builds upon a successful four-year agreement, designates Carrier as the sole commercial refrigeration provider for more than 650 Rema stores across Norway, while continuing to accompany the expansion of Rema stores in Denmark reaching 1,000 stores for both countries in October this year. Carrier has consistently delivered reliable commercial refrigeration equipment and responsive service for our supermarkets, which is especially important as we continue to grow, said John Roger Hansen, CTO, Rema 1000 Norga. Dependable refrigeration is essential for us to deliver a wide selection of good quality groceries at the lowest price to our customers. Read more the news on our website today. Third news today. Haya Bluk with the Haya Compact's compressor proves its worth in field tests. The Haya Bluk chiller with Haya Compact's, one of the world's first semi-hermetic compact screw compressor for ammonia, has proved to be a great success in field tests at Wolf Butterback KG. The company is a specialist manufacturer of Danish pastries that it sells frozen to bakeries, ready to cook for their customers. In 2018 Wolf Butterback wished to expand its capacity to accommodate business growth. As part of this expansion the company installed the Haya technology to act as a base load machine in a system of several chillers to provide cooling power to recool the CO2 deep freezing system. Jens Geyer, head of cooling technology at Wolf Butterback, said that he was impressed by the small footprint of the plant and the intuitive omni-control system that controls the entire chiller system. The chiller with the Haya compacts, has been in use here since 2018 and, in that time, has logged 15,000 operating hours, meaning it's been in operation almost 24-7, he said. Even on hot summer days, with outside temperatures of up to 36 degrees Celsius, the compressor worked perfectly and responded impressively to load changes. Read more the news on our website today. Fourth news today. Americold Realty Trust announces strategic acquisition of Agro Merchants Group for $0.740 billion. Americold Realty Trust, the world's largest publicly traded right focused on the ownership, operation, acquisition and development of temperature-controlled warehouses, announced that it has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire privately held Agro Merchants Group, Agro, from an investor group led by funds managed by Oaktree Capital Management, LP, Oaktree for a total of $0.740 billion. The acquisition is subject to customary and regulatory closing conditions and closing is expected to occur late in the fourth quarter of 2020 or early in the first quarter of 2021. Agro is the fourth largest temperature-controlled warehouse company globally, the third largest in Europe, and the fourth largest in the United States, and serves over 2,900 customers across a diverse spectrum of commodities. Agro's portfolio consists of 46 facilities, totaling 236 million refrigerated cubic feet, located in 10 countries and will be a strong complement to Americold's existing global network. Read more the news on our website today. 
Fifth news today. Bitzer's innovation at Chilventa E Special 2020. Bitzer Ammonia Compressor Packs. Bitzer, the specialist for refrigeration and air conditioning technology, presents its Ammonia Compressor Packs, ACPs, for industrial refrigeration at Chilventa E Special 2020. They provide customers with fully assembled, ready to use compressor units which can be installed quickly and easily on site. Due to its exceptional energy efficiency and outstanding thermodynamic characteristics, ammonia is the ideal refrigerant for industrial refrigeration applications such as ice rinks, warehouses and larger systems in the food industry. Because it doesn't have any global warming or ozone depletion potential, GWP and ODP0, ammonia is absolutely future-proof and the perfect option for environmentally conscious companies. Bitzer has decades of experience in the production of components suitable for ammonia, and, with its ammonia compressor packs, also offers higher cooling capacities, each up to 3 megawatts, minus 10 35ths of a degree Celsius. Each ACP contains up to three compressors as well as a motor, oil separator and oil circuit. Operating unit, economizer and frequency inverter are optionally available. Read more the news on our website today. Sixth news today. Haya launches expanded Valve Calc 7.0 software program. Haya AWP's Valve Calc software is a key tool for fast and accurate design and selection of components in the planning phase of projects. Haya AWP will soon launch Valve Calc 7.0 which enables the selection and sizing of AWP refrigerant valves for refrigeration plants. The software is able to calculate the requirements of the entire project allowing the user to specify the equipment needed for the whole plant online using Valve Calc. With Valve Calc, branched safety and overflow blow-off lines can be dimensioned complete with pipes, bends, transitions and other required components. It provides a design environment for graphical representation and editing of a piping system. By dragging and dropping, essential components such as safety valves, Vessels and pipes can be inserted to build the structure of the network. Integrated input masks are used to define additionally required data, such as refrigerant, outlet pressure and the calculation standard to be used. Read more the news on our website today. 7th News Today APEI Celebrates Its 20th Anniversary Celebrating its 20th anniversary this year, APEI, the European Partnership for Energy and the Environment, published a video with a compilation of messages from its members. APACE members, representing the heating and cooling industry, contribute with their technologies to ensuring that European citizens have healthy, productive and comfortable living and working environments, fresh and safe food and best-in-class health care. APAY Director General Andrea Voigt said, It's been 20 years already, time flies. 20 years during which our association has become one of the leading voices of our industry sector with currently more than 50 members from across the globe. Today, more than ever, we are focused on making our world a better place with sustainable technologies for the health of people and the planet. APEI members take their responsibility very seriously and are continuously innovating to provide long-term solutions to maximize the benefits of cooling for society in a safe, affordable, and environmentally sustainable manner. APEI is committed to pursuing its work, its dialogue with EU policymakers, collaboration with partners around the world, and looks forward to continuing its path to help the EU achieve its climate and energy goals. Read more the news on our website today. Eighth News Today AHR Expo, Show Management Looks Ahead to Las Vegas 2022 AHR Expo Show Management announced the forced cancellation of the 2021 AHR Expo after working with McCormick Place to tentatively reschedule the show for March 2021. With roadblocks set in place by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and resulting current state and local restrictions that prohibit mass gatherings over 50 people, an in-person event will not take place in 2021. Instead, Show Management will shift its focus to 2022 and prepare for an in-person event in Las Vegas, Nevada. We've examined every scenario and questioned every roadblock to see how we might hold an in-person event in 2021, said Mark Stevens, show manager. Unfortunately, the pandemic continues to present unpredictable challenges and other variables that are beyond our control. The safety of all our participants, attendees, exhibitors, speakers, employees, 
venue staff and everyone involved at every level, continues to be our top priority. With these barriers, along with state and local restrictions due to COVID-19, we have unfortunately exhausted all efforts to bring the show to Chicago in 2021. Read more the news on our website today. Ninth news today. Carrier Transicold's TripLink platform adds container refrigeration unit health analytics to improve asset management. With its latest TripLink software release, Carrier Transicold has significantly expanded its telematics platform for remote monitoring and control of refrigerated containers, adding reefer machine health analytics based on in-house refrigeration expertise that offers operational benefits and savings for customers. TripLink is part of Carrier's healthy, safe, sustainable cold chain program, designed to help customers meet rapidly evolving supply chain demands and make their cold chain activities more effective. Expanding on the TripLink software build we released in July, our latest version offers customers machine analytics that can monitor the performance and health of a fleet's carrier transicold refrigeration systems, said Willie Yeo, Director of Marketing, Global Container Refrigeration, Carrier Transicold. As the refrigeration system original equipment manufacturer, OEM, we are uniquely qualified to provide our customers with the most comprehensive picture of their carrier transicold unit's performance, which benefits fleets by providing unprecedented container management efficiencies and operational savings. Read more the news on our website today. Tenth news today. Chilventa e-special was a resounding success. The International Refrigeration AC, ventilation and heat pump community just wrapped up three days packed with fascinating presentations, new products and intense interactions. The Chilventa e-special, which was accompanied by the Chilventa Congress, featured many highlights from 13 to 15 October, 30 presentations at the Chilventa Congress, 75 product presentations, over 300 roundtables held by 207 exhibitors and altogether more than 6,800 active participants from 113 countries who engaged conversations at the highest professional level and of over 100,000 instant messages and 1,200 video calls. All of this shows that the industry very much needed an event of this kind. The feedback has been incredibly positive. Preparations for the next milestones are now getting underway with fresh momentum, The European Heat Pump Summit will take place on 26 and 27 October and the Chilventa is scheduled for 11 to October 13, 2022. Read more the news on our website today. 11th News Today ASHRAE Introduces Remote Online Proctored Exams ASHRAE announced that a new testing method is now available for completing certification exams. ASHRAE launches remote online proctored examination as a safe, secure and convenient certification exam delivery mode. ASHRAE candidates are now able to schedule and sit for a certification exam from their home or office. This new exam delivery mode not only will expand the market for ASHRAE certification to every built environment professional in the world with a desktop or laptop and a stable internet connection, but it also demonstrates yet again ASHRAE's ability to pivot in the face of a challenge and emerge a more nimble organization, even better equipped to meet industry needs said 2021 ASHRAE President Charles E. Gulledge III, P.E., HBDP. Candidates will utilize a remote testing platform which features 100% live proctoring staff and lockdown browser to ensure reliable monitoring and security risk mitigation throughout the examination process. Remote online proctored exams require a desktop or laptop, a stable internet connection, Google Chrome browser, a working webcam, and microphone. An intuitive user interface and live chat assure a seamless and supported experience. Read more the news on our website today. Twelfth news today. Bitzer's WGC Shell and Tube Gas Cooler for CO2 Bitzer's WGC Shell and Tube Gas Cooler, which is designed for transcritical CO2 applications, has 120 bar design pressure and ensures high resistance to pressure slash thermal fatigue. The WGC can be used as a gas cooler, a heat recovery exchanger and a condenser. The Bitzer WGC is a new family of liquid-cooled heat exchangers with several sizes and lengths which can typically be used in commercial and light industrial refrigeration. This heat exchanger concept can be used as a gas cooler, a heat recovery exchanger or a condenser, all in transcritical CO2 applications. One WGC model can thus operate in different modes within the same system 
depending on the working conditions of the moment. Shells and tubes for good reason. WGC heat exchangers are based on the shell and tube design which is highly resistant to both mechanical and thermal fatigue. In comparison with other heat exchanger technologies, this design offers notable advantages for installations in water-cooled CO2 refrigeration systems, especially when the system has a medium or large capacity of more than 250 kilowatts. One single WGC can replace up to three brazed plate heat exchangers, making the system less complex to install. Furthermore, they offer high thermal efficiency thanks to their counterflow design. Read more the news on our website today. 13th News Today Haya has launched new versions which considerably improve their application range. New versions Haya Red Series Heat Pumps Two years after introducing the Red Series Heat Pumps Haya Red Ostrom and Haya Red Genium, Haya has launched new versions which considerably improve their application range. All models are now available with an ammonia cascade evaporator making them compatible with any refrigeration system. In addition, three new sizes join the Haya Red Ostrom series extending the range to seven models in total. Up to 10% better efficiency and lower capital investment return significantly lower TCO and CO2 emissions. Until now Haya Red heat pumps could only be fitted with an evaporator system charged with a liquid secondary refrigerant. Such a heat pump connected to an existing chiller system needs to be based on a hydraulic cycle, for example the cooling water for a chiller with a liquid condenser. The new Haya Red Heat Pump Cascade version allows clients to add the heat pump onto any existing refrigeration system while using one single ammonia cascade heat exchanger that works as the condenser for the chiller stage and as the evaporator for the heat pump stage. Read more the news on our website today. News Today Illegal Trade Roundup October 2020 Illegal trade was raised by about 18 stakeholders in their feedback to the Commission on Fluorinated Greenhouse Gases, Review of EU Rules, 2015-20. The main themes raised are Circumventing the quota system undermines the efforts made by the European market to reduce CO2 emissions from F gases. It creates unfair competition and damages the economic viability of those that comply with the legal requirements, particularly for operators close to European borders. Compliant companies are not able to compete with the illegal goods. The 100 TCO2E threshold for quota requirement is a loophole that is being exploited. The abuse of the T1 transit process, which has been identified as an important route for illegal imports of HFCs. The whole supply chain has a disconnect due in part to companies that only buy and sell F gases do not have to keep records. The customs import systems and procedures for verifying the validity of legal and correct HFC quota shipments is an area of major concern. Read more the news on our website today. News Today Pelican Biothermal opens new Strasbourg Service Center. Pelican Biothermal, the global name and temperature controlled packaging, announces the opening of a new service center in Strasbourg, France. The facility will provide a variety of services for Pelican Biothermal customers supporting the refurbishment, repair, conditioning and storage of Credo Cube reusable parcel shippers. We are pleased to announce the opening of our latest European facility in France. The new Strasbourg Service Centre is strategically located to best meet the requirements of our customers and the increasing European demand for Credo Cube shipper servicing support, repair and refurbishment, said Paul Terry. Director of Sales EMEA at Pelican Biothermal. It is the latest location to open within our expanding network further supporting our Credo on Reserve Rental Program and adding to Pelican Biothermal's growing infrastructure of service centers globally. A number of leading pharmaceutical and life sciences companies are based in Strasbourg, which is situated in the Alsace region and is located in the world-renowned French-German Swiss Bio. Valley. Read more the news on our website today. News Today ASHRAE announces 2021 AHR Expo has been cancelled. ASHRAE has announced that the 2021 AHR Expo originally scheduled to be held January 25-27, 2021 at McCormick Place in Chicago, Illinois has been cancelled. ASHRAE worked alongside ARI and show management to explore every possibility that could lead to hosting an in-person event, but unfortunately, the pandemic continues to present challenges and unpredictable variables. 
The 2021 ASHRAE Winter Virtual Conference, which will include a mixture of live, pre-recorded and on-demand sessions, will take place February 9-11, 2021. The Board of Directors has carefully considered what course of action would be best for ASHRAE members, the committees that conduct the society's business, the industry we serve in the AHR Expo, said 2021 ASHRAE President Charles E. Gulledge III, PE The pandemic has affected everyone, requiring that we adapt to existing conditions in our personal and professional endeavors and our decision to cancel the 2021 AHR Expo is a reflection of necessary adjustments. Read more the news on our website today. News Today Bitzer CKHE 7 Co 2 Compressor for Transcritical Applications Bitzer is presenting a world premiere at this year's Chilventa E Special, with the Bitzer CKHE 7 Co 2 Compressor for Transcritical Applications, the specialist for refrigeration and air conditioning technology enables system manufacturers to build large capacity systems with a smaller number of compressors. CKHE 7 is the extension of the proven Bitzer CKHE 5 series of reciprocating compressors. The difference, it is designed for the high cooling capacities of industrial refrigeration with CO2 as a refrigerant. Market trends show an increasing demand for industrial refrigeration plants with higher refrigeration capacities and the capability to use CO2 as refrigerant. Up to now, Projects with required cooling capacities of more than 5 MW had to be divided into several individual systems. To meet the trend for bigger capacities, Bitzer developed its new 8-cylinder CO2 compressor CKHE7 with displacement rates between 69.4 and 99.2 cubic meters h. It is equipped with various intelligent functions and a further developed version of the mechanical capacity control Veristep. The market introduction of CKHE7 will start in the course of 2021. Read more the news on our website today. News today. Carrier Aqua Snap Scroll Chiller Range is now available with R32 Refrigerant. Carrier Aqua Snap Scroll Chiller Range is now available with R32 Refrigerant, which improves performance and reduces direct greenhouse gas emissions by up to 80% compared to the previous range using our 410A refrigerant. The innovative air-cooled range meets requirements for the European F-gas phase-down of HFC refrigerants and eco-design requirements for 2021. Carrier selected our 32 refrigerant, which has a low global warming potential, GWP, of 675, for use in commercial scroll chiller ranges. R32 has a GWP that is two-thirds less than the GWP of the current R410A version and this change, combined with a significant system refrigerant charge reduction, up to 30%, allows for an exceptional 80% reduction in direct greenhouse gas emissions. The Aqua Snap range reaches an outstanding seasonal energy efficiency ratio, SEER 12-7, of up to 5.33 and a seasonal coefficient of performance, SEOP of up to 3.77. The range covers capacities from 40 kW to 940 kW. Read more the news on our website today. News Today Parker Sporlin Webinar, Methods of Temperature Control Parker Sporlin Webinar, Methods of Temperature Control, AMPS and Discharge Air Temperature Control Jim Jansen, Senior Application Engineer, and John Whithouse, Senior Principal Engineer, will discuss methods of temperature control with AFs controlling discharge air temperature. How about controlling the case temperature and the suction line superheat with an electrically actuated, electronically controlled valve, the AF? It can successfully be done. Learn how supermarkets can enjoy direct control of the case and product temperatures, easily change settings for dual temperature applications, monitor and make valve adjustments remotely, recover quickly from defrost cycles, efficiently handle varying loads and load conditions, readily accommodate refrigerant retrofits, and control superheat. Please join us for this upcoming webinar as we continue our discussion on temperature control methods. We will help you understand the flexibility of the AF in the vapor compression refrigeration system and what accessories and electronic devices are required to make them work. Read more the news on our website today. News Today Embraco presents its solutions for the whole Indian cold chain at Reef Cold. Embraco, global provider of technology for the complete domestic and commercial cold chain, and a brand in the NIDEC Global Appliances portfolio, 
will be attending on October, from 29th to 31st, the Reef Cold Trade Show, which has gone online this year. Within the concept of keeping the food fresh in India, the digital presence at the event will be organized focusing on the whole Indian cold chain, bringing novelties as well as the most efficient portfolio for food storage, food service, merchandising and distribution and aftermarket. Reef Cold will be online in 2020 due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, and the interaction will take place from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., Indian Standard Time, ISD, for the exhibition, and from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., ISD, for the conference. The event will be a special occasion for Embraco to present to the Indian market one of its 2020 second semester launches, the Next Compressors platform, the fourth generation after the knee, Neck and Noy families. It is a solution specially for food retail and food service, in applications such as beverage coolers, kitchen reach-ins, frozen food islands, due to its robustness and reliability, which are recognized attributes of the Embraco brand, explains Esequias Pereira, sales senior manager at Nidec Global Appliance, responsible for Embraco's portfolio to the Asia-Pacific region. Read more the news on our website today. That's all. Share the news with your friends. Follow Refrigeration News on social networks. Please find the links below.